this uh, is the third video to continue our discussion about sarcoidosis we now know that a sarcoidosis is a disease in which multiple granulomas or nodules are formed within an organ mostly in lungs so where exactly is the pathology where exactly these granulomas are formed well these uh, granulomas are formed within interstitium and they develop along lymphatics the question is what is interstitium and what are lymphatics interstitium refers to a region between alveolar walls which has tiny blood vessels passing through it by definition no component of alveolar wall or capillary capillary wall is a part of interstitium it is rather a space with interstitial fluid within it tiny lymphatics also lie within interstitium lymphatics are tiny vessels that carry a fluid which is known as lymph now to make it clear this is sort of a rough sketch of alveoli these are blood vessels and this is space this is space this is space this is space is known as interstitium microscopic view of uh, a lung tissue these are septae that's how they should be very thin this is a double layer one is from this alveolus one layer of cells is from this alveolus and the other is from this alveolus and you can see these black dots are nuclei within type 1 and type 2 cells of uh, lungs the space between these two layers is known as interstitial space and it has tiny blood vessels and lymphatics passing through it all over the lung plasma filters continuously into interstitial space from blood flowing through the capillaries accumulating a fluid uh, within interstitium which uh, we refer to as interstitial fluid some components of this fluid are needed by cells and remaining is absorbed by lymphatics which are a part of lymphatic system so this is uh, uh, a normal sort of histopathology slide of lung tissue this one shows multiple granulomas multiple nodules forming within interstitium and compressing the alveolar space so this is a granuloma this is a granuloma this is a granuloma countless granulomas within lung tissue another specimen a big granuloma here a big granuloma here a big one here this lung tissue has already uh, been destroyed such granulomas greatly affect the diffusion of gases and eventually result in respiratory failure the good news however is that a big number of patients uh, recover by themselves in most patients sarcoidosis is an incidental finding that does not create any symptoms this lecture has been prepared for www.academyofprofessions.com. These are the references and acknowledgments. Thank you very much.